Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron for Kaiser Rikers United Kingdom. Let's continue off where we last left off. So, our green invasion from Vancouver Island to Japan is finally underway after a million years trying to get it to actually work properly. You got you guys um, delete your plants here. We're going to slow you move you uh, closer to where I want you to be. So you are going to at least garrison um, this island. I don't know how much supplies it has on it. That's actually a really good question. Basically zero. So actually that's a terrible plan. Delete all your orders. Delete all your orders. How much, how much supplies does this island have? Which is right here. Three. That's also not very good. Because we need... Um, how much supplies do we need up here? We need 36. To actually support these troops. You guys hopefully should be fine for now. Our invasions of these ports have been going okay. Delete this. We'll set up a new fallback line. No. Game. Please let me delete this order. Thank you. Set up a new... F you know, all of you are now going to go to this port. Yeah, we're just capturing some more islands. We're capturing Guam. I mean, so we're slowly, you know, getting our way up here. You know, very, very, very slowly, but we are. In due time. How long before you guys actually get to this? To, uh, like 38 days, which means it's effectively going to take 38 days for reinforcements to arrive on the island either. Okay, where's Hawaii? Hawaii should have some more, I would imagine. I mean, these areas should be safe to transport from. We like we should have control over the entirety of the Pacific on this side, I would imagine. You have six divisions. How does the Dutch not defeat these guys? They have they have six divisions. Like, what are they doing? So, what is this front line doing? We don't need to be all the way over there. It's really a more concentrated effort. Uh, Mexico looks like it's going okay as well. We'll shrink down your front line because again I just want you to focus on the important bits the PSA I think should have enough troops to kind of deal with everything else uh, we haven't taken over Mexico City quite yet but we're, you know we're getting there eventually we're getting there the 14 divisions there that could be useful like we could send them into Brazil no they're very close to actually running out of supplies we can send them up to this province. The French looks like they're stuck here as well. How many men has Brazil lost so far? They've lost 576,000 men. Not a great uh, trade, I would say. Rebuild the Vladivostok port. Russia, if you could just uh, attack Japan. Like, Qing is so close to capitulating. I don't know what's happened with Azerbaijan, but I don't think it's really that important, is it? We're going to plan for another naval invasion from this island um, to Nagasaki. Everybody who's anybody will be there. I don't know how long that invasion is going to be. It's going to take 38 days. I mean, it is a while. Got some Canadian troops here. Some more battles off the coast of Japan. I mean, I'm hoping that I'm at least... Maybe somewhat at the crippling the Japanese Navy. I have no idea. I think I might be losing ships faster than they are, which is not always the... Definitely not the best case scenario. So these ships, I am going to send them to this port. Hopefully you'll be able to use them soon. Okay. Iran wants to join the war. Germany, if you want to join the wars, that should be fine. I don't really see a real issue uh, with it. Okay, we're not going to be able to take Hyperbat, unfortunately. At least not right now. Um, you are at 
you're very you're basically not close to capitulating at all because you have not really lost much. Okay, when we were sinking Japanese convoys, which is good. Sinking our convoys at least also means you know they're not getting troops around. The Qing have actually taken back Beijing, which is fantastic. So I am I have no idea how the hell you're still alive. Maybe we do need to send troops over to the AOG just to give them some more support. Like, can I military access through you? Okay, so we got free markets that finally removed the legacy of syndicalism. I mean, it took them, it took us long enough, to be fair. Um, crush the IRA, invest in Ireland. Um, let's go for the India Act. No, we should not do that because we haven't actually uh, unified the island yet. Not the island, the subcontinent. Expand the RAAC because well, I mean, the India Act is more political power. What the hell am I going to do with political power? The answer to that question is absolutely goddamn nothing. But India should be united soon. Uh, can you march? You know, you march here, and we'll have the truck go this way. And that should be fine. Switzerland, if you want to join the war, you can join the war, but I don't really think it's necessarily important. Again, we're still winning all these battles. Uh, the Marines are still somewhere. Okay, I mean, they're, they're almost there. I mean, almost. is It's definitely saying something. It's not wrong, but it's also very, very, very not right. Everybody's on this order. Go this way, please. Actually, we do need to take Bombay, I'm assuming, so let's just uh, finish taking that city. So we took Hyper Bad, getting them down very, very close to capitulating, which is nice. Okay, we gotta go take over Bangalore next, I imagine. I mean, it looks like Mumbai should fall soon. Yeah, 52%. Oh, you guys can go back over here. The Dominion of India should be easy to uh, deal with all this. So your new battle plan is essentially spearhead your way to Bangalore. Because that's the only thing that actually matters. Everything else here, it's fine. Who cares? Gotta sign divisions. Keep on putting them onto Blue Army. I mean, I could probably start shipping them over to the EOG now, but might be a little bit risky. Okay, brown, blue, what do you need? You're worried about the East China Sea, but other than that, you should be more or less good to go. Azerbaijan has been annexed. So Russia, is that going to mean that you're going to try to attack Japan? You have the CB for it. Please attack them. Yeah, we suffered a defeat, losing nine destroyers. But again, I have so many ships, I think I can just kind of send them at Japan and kind of slowly win by attrition. And also, I basically never repair my ship, so that does make things a little bit simpler on my side. The fall of Mexico City, fantastic. Mexico, are you going to capitulate now? No, still not even close. New England's actually done some fantastic work down here in the south. Where's their new capital? Their new capital is over here. But that's more of a Pacific States issue than my issue. Okay, so Poland and Lithuanian Commonwealth is probably going to capitulate very, very soon. Yeah, like, we're seeing a de decent amount of convoys, which I'm hoping means that we're killing a decent amount of Japanese troops. Any government, I mean, like, again, we do just outnumber them significantly. Like, um, our faction right now has 700 divisions. They have about 250. So, you know, you think things would be going much better for us than they actually are. And that's not even including the the Chinese troops. Okay, actually, you're still not capitulated yet. You don't have a city over there, so this does not matter. Please don't go there. Just keep on marching south. And eventually, I mean, I think at this point you can basically take any city and be fine. I mean, at least our fuel situation. I mean, we're losing fuel, but we have a decent uh, stockpile of it. And you guys also attack as soon as you can. 
But maybe I'll actually edit your plans. So you're not going to the uh, China Sea. Not a port here. Go take Osaka. I think that's a fine attack order. We'll just be able to do another like 13 days. Our marine divisions are almost at Tokyo. Did these guys land in Honolulu? Yes, they have. I'm assuming their supply issue is awful, but you know, that's it is what it is. I can't wait for a marine division to finally get there and they just all die. Because they're like not even near strong enough to actually deal with the situation. Okay, but I really like Hyperbats who just capitulate. Thank you very much. Germany, what are you doing? Nothing. I mean, they can just attack us, which is an issue. Okay, Mexico's not, like, still not really even that close to capitulating, which is a shame. I don't know how the Pacific states have not pushed anywhere in California yet. Like, it's actually just amazing to me. The France is still doing some good work. NATO wings have no missions. I understand that, but I'm not too worried about it. We can get steel from our German puppet. We can get chromium from... I guess we'll keep getting it from South Africa. That should be fine. Yeah, but Hyperbad's on our last legs. Maybe this city will be enough to push it? You know, maybe? How much are you worth? You're worth one point, so actually the question is going to be no, it's not going to be enough. I mean, our capital right now is also only a one, so... Oh, they did take our Bangalore back, so... Naval combat... Over here. I mean, that's a very, very large Japanese navy. Oh, but the naval invasion worked. Fantastic. Um, I probably should have realized this earlier. Um, you guys, front line here. Everybody. Front line here. Everybody. Green, you're going to immediately try to push your way through here. Like, as aggressively as possible. Please. If we can defeat Japan before they can actually send troops to uh, the home islands, that would be fantastic. Japan's already at 80%. Russia! This would be a really, really good... I mean, you're sending volunteers of Japan. Even though you have a cost of belly to declare war on them. Very fine. Whatever. You don't have uh, the Bismarck Sea? Where even is the Bismarck Sea? This one. We have no friendly ships here. Three more days. We can actually get some more troops this way. Okay, keep on pushing. We'll wait for reinforcements to arrive. I have no idea how long that's going to take. Because you're coming from Hawaii. 25 days for you. And it's going to take 15 days. So we got about two weeks until... Uh, we have reinforcements. So we got to somehow hold off Japanese resistance for... Two weeks. Which is a long time. Also, I'm surprised there was not an event for the fall of Tokyo. It seems like something that there would be. If your refinery is ready, please attack. There you go. So we're going to have some more reinforcements actually showing up here from the south. Attacking into Osaka. Keep building up some military equipment. I think we're fine kind of on support equipment for right now. Okay. AOG. Get some fuel. Get more steel from Germany. And get chromium from South Africa. Get everything we could possibly need. We can already see the Japanese forces have started to move in. Which is not great. I mean, we saw this coming. To be fair, like, this isn't a surprise to anybody, I would imagine. I mean, they're militia troops. They're actually, they're not that strong. We're fighting a small fleet there. 
Oh, Japan. I would really... We, we, that is a massive loss. Holy shit. That's a lot of uh, bows just get sunk. Um, I don't think... Again, I don't think I've actually really upgraded my navy since the very beginning. Yeah, we don't have the 1940 ship. So, you know, let's get the 1940 submarine hull. Probably would benefit us, I would imagine. How have these guys not died yet? What are you doing? I Like, they're so close. But you just can't get it done. Okay, so the RAC. Uh, let's get the Imperial War Cabinet. Blue's almost ready to do something. Okay, you guys are going to go ship to Brazil. Because the Brazilian front will matter. How long till these guys get here? You have eight days. So we got a week on them. We have a week on them. So basically everybody's going to arrive at around the same time. 19 days. Okay, so you're a little bit further behind everybody else. But if all of the Entente would just stream into Japan right now, that'd be really nice. Or if Russia could declare the goddamn war. Like, Russia. Attack. Attack them. Please. I'm begging you. Okay, you guys come back down here. Mexico, how is... Oh. How is this front doing? And we got Veracruz. So we should take that now. There we go. So Mexico's been defeated. Uh, pass our turn a million times. Uh, so, Pacific States. You can have some territory like that. And then I think I will take the rest. And all of you... Um, I guess we're gonna garrison here for now. Can I get the event so I can release Mexico, please? So now, have you considered the war is not over? Apparently, still. Okay. Okay, we'll split Ukraine for Mexico. Release Mexico. There we go. So the Entente, again, has grown even larger. You know what? You do whatever. It's fine. I'm hoping that these guys aren't in Osaka. Again, we really gotta be on the defensive here. Oh, Russia, you declare war in Japan. I love you so much. Thank you so much. You have no idea what difference you've made for me. In the peace deal, Russia, I will give you some nice things. Okay, you can count on my word there. Okay, the fall of Warsaw. End of the American Civil War. Good work there. Hopefully they don't declare war on me, but they easily, I think, could. Yeah, our troops have not arrived quite yet. I want you under this field, Marshal, and you're going to slowly push your way down to Rio de Janeiro. I feel, you know, I feel a lot of deja vu with this whole, uh, um, being in war in America during the Civil War, evading Brazil. It's very familiar, uh, to say the least. Okay, so the Purple Army's finally arrived. Our reinforcements down here have arrived as well. There we go. Just fantastic work here. Yeah, just I, I've got I've got like a newfound appreciation for naval invasions. I think I like never used to do them, but they they work so well all the time that you'd be almost be a fool not to. So the purple army's now arrived. I mean, they're, again, they're the pink army, but you know, 
Who's the judge? Yeah, so I'm about to take Hiroshima. But I think that's going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, run a thumbs up. Now, do a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. And goodbye.